Hey guys, um, he had, he had a stretch there um, late in the second half where I uh, had like um, about a six minute field goal drought. Um, what did you see? What was going on in that drought? That, um, you know, obviously there were some turnovers there that kind of, um, you know, slowed down the offense and that, that stretch as George Mason took the lead. Uh, like you said, man, we just didn't take care of the ball. We just gave them too many possessions. Then uh, also they got fast break, uh, fast break points. So that also, they, they started getting two after they got those two off our misses. Oh, that's about it. And I know, you know, rebounding has been a, uh, an emphasis overall. You guys have rebounded better against St. Bonaventure uh, and Richmond. Um, what, what was the difference today? What, what uh, allowed Mason to have such a, a large advantage on the boards uh, today? Uh, I feel like that stretch, that little six-minute stretch they had, they were really playing hard, and they actually went after the ball, and we couldn't match their intensity tonight. Thank you. Guys, additional questions for the players? Noah, go ahead. Oh, this is going to be for either of you. How do you guys, how can you guys take this game tonight and kind of just move on from today and get ready for these last two games heading into the postseason? Uh, we just got to take it on a chin, really. Go back to the drawing board, get ready for the next one, really. Yeah, and we got a lot of uh, young guys, too. And we just got on a little streak and we just lost the game we should have possibly won tonight. So what today? So we just gotta talk to them, keep their heads up, and we'll be all right. Just following this next game. Uh Wes, go ahead. No, did you, sorry, Noah, did you have a follow up? No? Okay. Well, hey, Wes can go. I just had the question there about how you said that you just you didn't match their intensity tonight. Did you, did you guys have any concerns going into this? Did you just say? Mm, no, I wouldn't say so. They just, when they little sick men stretch, that's when they really showed us how they play. And we couldn't do anything about it at that point. And which they led them to get in the lead and we had a fight back. All right, uh, Wayne, follow-ups? Has anything changed for you guys now that um, the season has been cut short by a week and by two games? Like, uh, now all of a sudden, uh, you're going to head into the final week of the regular season. So that, does that change anything as far as maybe um, uh, intensity or just uh, ur the sense of urgent, urgent um, going into the, the league tournament with that being a, a week earlier? Or is that not something that's, that's been on your mind yet? I um, mean, it's definitely in mind, but we worried about the next one coming up. You know, we got to lock in. We had made too many mistakes tonight. We got a lot in to change it for the next game. And uh, just to ask you about um, Jameer too. Um, have you have you seen him kind of continue to progress? It seemed like the last couple of games, uh, seeing his, his confidence uh, really be high and he's been playing well. Hit some big shots today. So, um, how have you seen his progression kind of continue uh, in the eighteen play to this point? Um, honestly, I just feel like he's playing so well right now, just because he talks. All uh, outside of the court with us because uh, he used to be our roommate and he really, uh, really wouldn't talk. So now he's listening to us and we're just all helpful. It's like a helpful hand. And he's been doing good this year. Uh, he did some good things tonight, but we just came up short at the end of the day. Thank you.